All right, guys, uh, welcome back to the Off-Grid Project. Um, I've been getting some questions about what this project really is about. Um, so far, it's been uh, about building an affordable house um, or cabin, tiny home, uh, any of those phrases. You can look them up on Google, YouTube, check them out. Basically, building an affordable home that's self-sufficient for about the price of a new car. Um, and considering a new, a new car only lasts, uh, what, 15 to 20 years if you're lucky, and then you, gotta, then you have all the maintenance and other fees invested into it. This is gonna last way longer than a car lifespan, so <laughs> um, you just gotta be smart with your money nowadays especially with the economy being so bad. Um, um, I'm basically doing this for that reason. Um, I'm gonna show people it can be done, it can be done affordably. Um, anybody can do it. There's no codes per se inside your trailer. So you can basically go to town, you just be careful guys, don't be stupid, you know. Uh, common sense is key. Um, I w I'm pretty much sick of paying bills, like, just to live. You have to pay sewage bills to go to the bathroom every month. You have to pay water bills to stay alive, bathe yourself, wash your dishes for drinking water. And then they fluoridate and chlorine all that water and God knows what else is in there. I, um, at home, I have a Pro-Pure uh, fluoride filter that takes most of that stuff out that I use for drinking and cooking. Um, with the off-grid project, I will be able to also use, uh, eliminate the fluoride filters, which are expensive and you gotta replace um, every year. Um, I'll be using the rainwater catchment system as my bathing, washing, drinking water once it's filtered. And then I, I'll just, uh, I'm actually gonna switch from the Pro-Pure system um, once I'm in here full time to the Big Berkey system because their black filters can do 3,000 gallons with no time limit on their filters. Whereas the Pro-Pure Pro has a time limit of um, six months to a year, which is ridiculous, it gets quite expensive. So once I'm out here and the fluoride's no longer an issue, I will switch to the big Berkey system and keep the Pro Pure as a backup. Um, I wanna also um, find some land for this trailer, guys. If you don't know, I'm renting this land to keep this trailer on right now for about $600 a year, which isn't too bad. I want to get my own piece of, uh, an, at least a, just an acre of land, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, and that way, it's my land. I can grow, start growing my own food organically. Uh, put a greenhouse in, maybe get into aquaponics. And then also, when I have the land um, on the ceiling, I want to have in my drawings on the Facebook group. Um, I have, I'm going to have a slanted roof so I can catch all the water into the tote and also that will be a place for my solar panels to go on. So I can't put that on the trailer until I have some land guys so I can't really show you any solar stuff until then or battery box but in the meantime I'm going to try and get all the bathroom done, washing machine, laundry tub, countertops kitchen cabinets, bed area, um, and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, I want to do that. Um, I can try and be as self-sufficient as I can. Um, I'm not a big uh, meat eater, so I got to figure, like, I've been uh, supplementing with um, organic peanut butter and protein bread. So... Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out. Uh, it, it it's it's working like uh, it fills me up. So uh, I gotta kind of switch my switch my habits over to that. Um, 
Um, also, I have a bunch of um, two liter bottles that I save from uh, soda bottles. And what I do is I make, um, some of these are for the uh, Redneck air conditioner. Um, I put water in, freeze them, and then they go in, I just stack them in the, uh, the cooler. That lid goes up and this blue um, insulated foam goes on. I have a little elbow there to blow out. And that was the fan I was using to fill that hole there. But with these computer fans, I can actually make a newer insulated setup, which draws way less power than that for the summertime. So I can have a couple PC fans blowing in, um, blowing out uh, the air. And that'll save a lot more power than that guy does. That guy draws quite a bit. But the other thing I do make at home right now, I'm growing spinach in the windowsill. And it's sitting, and I cut this two liter bottle in half about where my thumb is there. And then I flip the top down with that cap off, of course. And you fill that, this section up with soil when it's upside down like this. And then this bottom part is filled with water and uh, I use cotton shoelaces. Uh, I put a couple of them in. You, you might have seen this online. And it basically makes a self-watering container for your plants. And you never have to really water it uh, for months because you can see the level of water in the bottom of the planter and it wicks up. Um, it fights gravity, goes upward through the cotton, wicks up, and goes into the soil for the roots of the plant. So unless the bottom section gets, uh, gets low of water, you really don't need to add water, which is good. Uh, water con uh, conservation is key. And if you're lazy like me, you don't want to uh, be watering plants every day. It's just another thing to get off your mind, get off the honey-do list. Um, I'll show you the temperature in here, guys. I think I forgot to do that in the last video. It's, it's cool in here. I can't see my breath, though, so let's see what we got. Um, I'll move over to the light here a little bit better. So, oh, it's just above freezing. That's why I can't see my breath. And just close to the high 80s for humidity. Um, yeah, um, the so that gives you guys um, a little idea of what this is about. Um, I started this project in the summer, and but in a couple months or in a month or so, it's December, so in a month it'll be one year the one year anniversary of this project and I got quite a bit done in a year and I really didn't spend that much time working here if you add it all up. So even if it was a couple people building this, you could definitely get this done uh, faster than I have. Um, it's definitely affordable. Um, when it's all said and done, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna total up all my bills. I've been saving all my receipts for everything. Total everything up. Show you guys what it takes to build one of these. What it takes to get one of these trailers. Um, and a lot of you guys might be able to get a lot of this stuff um, for free or even cheaper than I have. So it'll be maybe even uh, cost cost you guys way less than what I paid at the end. So that gives you an idea of what the off-grid project is about. Um, it's about trying to get off the grid, saving your money, because every month your paycheck gets lighter and lighter because of all these crazy taxes and these corporations just upping the bill every year for no apparent reason. So hopefully this, guy, this gives you guys a good overview of the off-grid project. Um, and like I say, money's tight right now, guys. Um, so 
It's going to be a while for another video to come up. But I want to wish everybody um, a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And I hope you guys um, continue to follow me and continue to comment and uh, share my videos. I appreciate it. And uh, that's it for now, guys. We'll see you when I see you.